up and welcome back to my channel so ever since I posted my very first library tour like back in April I want to say I've had people ask me how I style and decorate my bookshelves so I've come up with a list of five different tips that you can use to decorate your bookshelves in a way that's both functional and aesthetically pleasing so you can have gorgeous bookshelves that you love to look at so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the tips so the first tip is to think about how you look for your books so basically you can have a bunch of different ways to style your books obviously and organize them you could do it alphabetically by author you could do it alphabetically by title you could do it by genre which is kind of how I have mine um, you could do it like rainbow style whatever um, but the number one tip that I've always found with really any kind of organizing is think about how you actually use that item or you look for that item. So what I mean by this is that when I'm looking for books, I typically read by mood. So I'm more likely to think I really want to read a fantasy book um, than I really want to read a book by so-and-so or I really want to read a book that's like, I don't know, alphabetized by A. But there are people out there obviously that do think that way or that they think I want to really want to read a book and I know that, that book has like a green cover so I'm gonna go and look for all of my green covers. So yeah think about how you're gonna use your books and how you're gonna look for them when you're thinking about how you want to organize them because if you organize based on how you already kind of think through whatever category you're organizing, in this case books, it's going to be a, an organization system that you are more likely to stick to than if you organize and try to change the way that you like use that item. So I hope that made sense. <laughs> the next tip for styling your bookshelves is to vary the way that you put them on the shelves. So if you look at my shelves, you know that I have some books that are put on the shelf just how you would expect them to be but then I have some books that are facing out some books that are laid on their side if you vary it up and as long as you don't like go overboard with it which is a whole other tip but anyway if you vary it up it's going to kind of um make your eyes kind of travel along your bookshelves so that it's not just kind of like stuck in one area and so that you can kind of like draw the eye to various areas of your bookshelves. The next tip is to add in knickknacks. So basically you can find knickknacks just about anywhere. I like to have knickknacks that kind of I found like either through like various like going on vacations or that friends have given me or whatever but yeah basically I also have a bunch of knickknacks that um, are just kind of like interesting pieces that I've seen at like Hobby Lobby or Target or I don't know Home Goods. I'm trying to think of some other good places. Um, Goodwill, believe it or not, could be a good place to find different knickknacks. But if you add those into your into your bookshelves, those also kind of create a little bit of visual interest. You can have um, as much or as little knickknacks as you want. But my next tip is to not go overboard. So definitely this is going to be different for everyone. As you can see by my shelves, I don't love a ton of knickknacks, but there are people that love to look at different pop figurines and have a lot of different things on their shelves. And that's totally fine. I think those look amazing. It's just that like whenever I do it in my own house, I'm like, uh, this isn't for me just because that's just my style. My style is more of like a clean simple style and there's nothing wrong with any one way to do it but definitely just kind of like keep in mind that the more overboard you go on your knickknacks and things like that the more you have to dust. So I just feel like that's worth noting. Another thing with the whole like not going overboard is that if you go overboard with like how you arrange the books on your shelves 
then it just kind of ends up looking kind of chaotic to your eyes. And so instead of drawing attention to a certain area, you're actually pulling attention away from it because your eyes kind of like want to look somewhere else. Um, so by what I mean by that is like, if you have a stack of books that's like horizontal, don't have like two stacks of horizontal books like right next to each other vary it up a little bit. The next and final tip is to mix heights on your bookshelf. So this goes for any kind of shelves, even if you're just like styling a shelf with a bunch of like home decor pieces. Um, but if you look at a shelf and you have um, like all of your books going the same height, if you pay attention, your eyes kind of like skate over them because there's no variation to like draw your eye in any direction so yeah mix your heights another thing is that if you are decorating a bookshelf if you have like tall knickknacks and then like short knickknacks and a mix of the things in between then your eyes kind of like drawn around the different knickknacks instead of just kind of like everything kind of blending in together so yeah, um, an added tip, by the way, if you are using a bookshelf to just kind of decorate, it's a good idea to do it in odd numbers. For whatever reason, I heard this tip years ago, um, but for whatever reason, odd numbers and groupings of odd numbers tend to look better than groupings of even numbers. Interestingly enough, I can't remember the exact reason there is like a psychological draw your eyes whatever kind of reason but I can't remember that but yeah that's just an added bonus tip from me to you uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a quick one but since I've had so many people ask me questions about it instead of answering each person individually I decided just to film it in a video so that I could just reach everybody all at once so yeah, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what your best tips are for organizing a bookshelf or decorating a bookshelf. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys really, really soon with another video. Bye.